Hi there. Back to the telephones and I thought it was about time I put uh, one of our English phones up. Now funnily enough I went to a boot sale today which is very unusual for me as you all know. Um, this, this was at Apps Farm just along the river from Hampton Court and um, there was quite a few stalls there the normal stuff you see which uh, you know you either take it or leave it but then you often find the little gem that turns up well today a telephone 332 turned up this is the old English phone it was based on a Swedish design which I will show an example of in a future video this was the phone that I remember as a kid I, my grandfather had one of these and when I joined uh, the other GPO as a job in uh, when I was about 16, 17 these were phones that people were having taken out and replaced with the 706 version the, uh, the crappy plastic one which was sort of based on the American 500 set Anyhow, these were very sturdy, nice, beautiful dial. I haven't opened it up inside. When I do these, I tend to not show the innards, I just show the outside. It keeps them the um, actual video fairly short. You look at the dial, the finger stop under there, it shows the two parts. There's like a stop, one on top of the dial and one below. They were a better, a more better quality than the ones that just had the single stop at the top. Anyhow, I saw it on the the person stall. Had all kinds of odds and ends, a lot of it being junk. Anyway, I picked this up and um, sort of just. I had a quick look at it, well I didn't have a quick look, I had a good look at it and there's not a mark on it it is in immaculate condition well, I'll tell you the age of this we turn round the back it's 90, well as far as I can make out it looks like it says 52 but in fact I think it's older than that the handset as one nine one six four, which is the handset model, and a number forty seven. So it's possible it's actually nineteen forty seven. But as these were had been refurbished in the past, um, handsets could be swapped around. They're the same handset, but um, in in those days, the post office or or the GPO was just concerned in getting phones back to the customers or subscribers as they were then called so they had service so they just made sure the phone was working they buffed the instruments up a bit a bit of polish and made sure they were working well the bells were working they say this one is in very good condition you expect a bit of wear it's only to be expected after that length of time but I haven't touched it at all this is as as I found it at the boot cell this this version doesn't have the little drawer some versions had a drawer which you could pull out where that that section piece is was like a drawer but in this case it's just a blank you can change the base for one with a door was held on by four screws there's the old stamps the post office stamps sampling and that anyhow one nice little telephone and oh, I didn't tell you how much I paid for it 35 pounds which is a very good price 
on eBay these can fetch quite a lot I don't know why but they do anyhow that's the phone I'll show you the wire this is the end this is what the wires used to be in the old days red and green with your spade connectors the A and B line or the tip and ring and it would be connected to a little terminal block or a block terminal anyhow once again thanks for looking any comments please make any questions please ask and uh, thank you again thank you